This is question 35. College Board is asking us to solve an equation with only one variable, and I can do this on my graphing calculator most easily if I put the left side into y1, x, and the right side into y2, 5 halves x minus 21 over 8, and I'll use zoom 6 to get the standard window. My graph looks like this. The x-coordinate at the point of intersection is the solution, so, and my graphing calculator will find that for me automatically. Second trace on the TI-83 or 84, option 5 is intersect, hit enter, hit enter three times, you don't have to use your cursor to move near the point of intersection, x equals 1.75. So the solution is 1.75. The graphing calculator is fabulous for solving equations that only have one variable. Let's approach this by hand, though, or the way I would with a graph, graphing calculator. I can collect like terms, and I'm going to call this 2 halves z equals 5 halves z minus 21 over 8. If I subtract 2 halves z from 5 halves z, I get 3 halves z. If I add 21 over 8 to both sides, I get 21 over 8 equals 3 halves z. Multiply both sides by 2 thirds. 2 over 2 is 1, 3 over 3 is 1, so that leaves just z by itself. 21 over 3 is 7 in the numerator, 2 over 8 is 4 in the denominator. 7 fourths, which we know is 1.75, so that's an equivalent answer. If you're not fond of fractions, and I'm not, you can multiply this through by 8 at the start to get 8z equals 8 times 5 halves is 8 over 2 is 4, and 4 times 5 is 20. 20z minus 21. I chose 8 because that's my common denominator. Add 21 to both sides and subtract 8z from both sides. That leaves 21 equals 20 minus 8 is 12z. Divide by 12. z equals 21 over 12, which is 7 over 4. Several ways to approach this, but it's important to be able to solve multi-step equations like this equations where you have to first collect similar terms and then get the variable by itself. And come back so soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.